name's Sam. Sam Wilson. Sam Cazone. Cazone. My main knowledge of film photography was when I was a kid, my dad went to uh, Africa to hike Kilimanjaro and came back with all his, his E6 slides and stuff. So we would always look at those and that's probably my first venture into the seeing a different world. When I was getting into film photography again, um, I was hiking a lot. So it was a lot of landscape photography. Um, that was definitely my first real focus. I, would, I don't know if I would really call it a project because I was definitely trying to find a, somewhat of a voice there. Um, but that's definitely where I started, was, was landscape photography, hiking in uh, the Snoqualmie area of Washington and that kind of stuff. I shot a lot of digital out of college. Out of college I got a DSLR and I was shooting parties with friends and that kind of stuff and took it into shooting a weekly video, um, but it all, the, the digital stuff grew stale. It grew to be part of like a, had to go on the, on the web. It had to be something digital. Whereas when I, when I leaned towards film photography, there was something I could hold in my hand. Um, I think the tactileness of that is really what drew me to it. If I, if I had to give up digital totally, I, I put the work in, I think I could do it. Um, there's things like snapping a quick cell phone photo or, you know, something where you need autofocus and a fast shutter. Sometimes digital is better for that, for low light stuff. but. I think where I get any heart in any of my photography, I think, is with film. Film definitely helps me to achieve my vision. Um, I don't know if I would have been able to get there without the digital that I grew up shooting or shot in my early 20s. Um, but uh, film definitely gives me enough time to slow down. Um, and think about where I'm exposing my film, and then now that I'm starting to develop my own, like that gives me a whole new thing to really get the look that I really want. So I really like being able to slow down that much and, and figure out what I want and, and using the tools that I've got to get there. Okay, so I shoot a lot of HP5, Ilford HP5. Um, Maybe it's my watching of Doctor Who and all that stuff as a kid that led me towards the British films, but uh, yeah, I, I lean towards that. I shoot, um, I've been developing a lot of uh, that HP5, so I've been able to like play with pushing and different, different developers, that kind of stuff. Um, so my 120 camera that I shoot with primarily is my Yashica Mat EM. Uh, it's got a light meter on it, so I, it's kind of all in one, kind of get everything done with a 6x6 format. Um, and then I've got a Nikon F3, which is kind of my go-to film camera. Um, I started shooting out on Nikon digital cameras, so I moved to a Nikon F3 so I could keep using some of that glass. So I like to shoot landscapes a lot. I like to uh, capture like life in a moment. So if I'm, a couple months ago, I went home and shot my grandma's 90th birthday. And so getting some of those uh, moments is really awesome. Um, and that's what I like to capture is kind of those moments for people. I think you can replicate some of the, some of the tones of film on digital. Um, but I don't think you can replicate the heart of film on digi digital. Um, I think at least the amount of time and stuff I have to put into getting a correct exposure while I'm developing and doing all that myself and not messing it up in the real or in the dark or anything. Um, I don't think that level of like um, award can be gotten on digital. I, I never felt that kind of reward taking film, you know, taking pictures with digital. Um, whereas I kind of feel that now when I'm doing my own film. I feel like I'm, I move around a lot more with digital, you know? Digital is like a, it's like a, it's like, okay, I see this. 
as I'm shooting this, there's something out of the corner of my eye over here. I've got a that film I can say, this is the important moment. I'm gonna take my time, I'm gonna focus on this, and I'm gonna take that one shot and get that moment. I don't need to get Susie and Bob over here necking real quick, cause, cause this is the thing that matters. I, I wanna do a little zine. Um, so it'd probably be a landscape zine just because that's what I take the most time and you know do the most with. Um, I'd love to start doing that for events and concerts and that kind of stuff, but um, where my best work is right now is landscape, so um, I've been working at putting together some sort of little landscape zine kind of thing. Um, yeah, I grew up in a very small town. It's a small town life and lack thereof is kind of in my ingrained in my being. So probably something around that, you know, small towns, yeah. You know. So we're at a time where everybody takes pictures. Everybody's got it on their phone. They're backed up into clouds and who knows what not and being sold to who knows where. Uh, so I think slowing down and, and grabbing a roll of film, shooting it, a, roll, a, a, a disposable camera, shooting it with your family, um, and keeping those negatives around is, I don't know, it's part of my childhood. It's something that when I go home as a 30-year-old to my parents' house, I'm always digging through boxes of negatives to you know show people or think. So in a, I grew up in a time where my you know late teens to late 20s have been digital, have been in this digital world where things have gotten lost along the way and I don't like losing anything anymore. I'm sick of it. So I say shoot film, don't lose your stuff. Keep it around, keep it physical for other people to, to enjoy. The thing I wish I could skip is seeing other gear that gives me looks that I want. So I keep seeing, you know, I work in a lab, so I'm scanning six by nine stuff. And as a landscape photographer, and I'm primarily shooting six by six on my 120 film, six by nine looks awesome. Every time I see it, I wanna shoot a little bit of that. So like overcoming that feeling of, I don't need that, I can still get something with what I've got. Um, that's the hardest part but I still want some of that stuff, you know? I still want to get into a little bit bigger, six by nine, four by five. I want to do a little bit of landscape work with that stuff, especially. We're the future of film photography. What are you talking about? It's, it's all, it's all, is everybody shooting it? Everybody talking about film again? I hope that we're living a future that, that looks back and uses classic techniques and, and products, you know? There's a reason that cameras have been around since like the 1800s, you know? There, there's a form of photography that's been around that long. And digital's part of all that, but um, I think people want to slow down sometimes and, and work with something in their hands. And I think that's always, there will always be people who want to work with their hands. I'm Sam Cazone, and I shoot film.